Hello friends, in this video I am going to give you a demo on Ansible, one of the Ansible use case which is configuration management. The idea is I got some feedback from my previous videos to have to put some videos based on real time scenarios. So that's why I am uh, preparing this video for you. See prerequisite knowledge, basic understanding of Linux windows and basic knowledge in Ansible. If you want to learn more uh, Ansible from the beginning you can watch my another video which is learn Ansible all you need to know I will give you this documentation link in my description what we are going to do during this session we will write a real-time Ansible playbook uh, which, is, which will be running on CentOS 7 okay and the playbook is to uh, it's basically for the configuration management and what are, what are the tasks I included in this playbook is ensure listed packages are installed there are some packages I, I list as a variable and that should be installed ensure listed services are started I list some services and it should be started update a configuration file I'm using for example I'm using http.conf update resolve.conf I want one more configuration file which doesn't need a this need a restart of service and this doesn't need a restart okay I'll explain you. and update uh, pseudoverse that's all I'm going to do with this uh, in this demo okay here is my documentation it's it's here I have uh, these codes in my github repository I already prepared before this we are starting this demo and this is the this is my repository I'm going to use and here I have written uh, a playbook okay let's uh, clone this repository to our local then I will explain what we do with this okay I have two machines here one is Ansible management which is running Red CentOS 7.6 and I have one more machine which is uh, basically to run run the tasks okay it is uh, it is it is also 7.2 okay center is 7.2 okay so i'll be uh, the, this is my client machine and this is my management and simple management machine from here i will trigger this playbook to um, my client or you can have a number of clients uh, for uh, for me i'm doing only the one of one client okay, okay. let's clone the repository first Okay, before that, I will create a directory here. Okay, I'm also already inside this directory. It's good. Okay, uh, I'll clone this repository. I'm going inside the repository, inside the files now. Okay, I will rename it to something else. Let's put to just Okay, here I have uh, um, I have my playbooks here. I will just show you the structure, and I'm using uh, roles here. This is my inventory file that is in the base directory uh, in this current directory, and I have one main uh, YAML file uh, which is also in the current directory. And there's a there is a directory inside the uh, I have which is roles. So I'm I'm using uh, roles here uh, to execute this uh, playbook. Okay, and under roles I have one role which is Ansible Conf NGNT management. It is basically Ansible configuration management for seven. I mean seven. Okay, CentOS seven. And this is our uh, main role. Uh, one of the uh, main, one of the role. And under roles we have. Uh, one two three four five directories one for files for the static files another for the handlers to execute uh, the handlers and here the main tasks and templates under templates i have two templates which is jinja2 template for resolve.conf and pseudo block and there is one more directory called wars under wars i have a one main dot yaml file Okay, let's go to first uh, with the main.yaml file. 
which is in the parent directory here okay at main.yaml this is my main.yaml file okay here I um, declare the declare my host which is my host which should be in the inventory and I'm ex I'm calling a role roles here I'm calling roles one all I have only one role and that role is this is the role we have seen here which is uh, ansible conf mgmt this is the directory actually that directory we need to specify here and I'm making a condition here because this role is only for CentOS 7 I have written only for CentOS 7 maybe it can run on some other versions also but this role is uh, the int intention is only to run on CentOS 7 so I am making a condition here when Ansible distribution uh, you know this is a fact it is a global variable and when Ansible distribution equal to CentOS and there is one more condition which is Ansible distribution major version is 7 which means display this role will be executed only for CentOS 7 okay that's that's it uh, for the main file and let's check uh, 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 under roles what are the we have this role here only we have only one role under roles that is the role here and what are, what are the files here I have files handlers handlers tasks templates and words so let's go to the tasks first main.yaml here I'll open in VIM okay this is our main task file the first file which will ensure some packages are installed here this is I'm, I'm using a module yum okay and uh, I'm using a loop here actually because I have I don't I I have uh, um, more than one packages so I need to make sure all these packages are installed so instead of calling yum uh, n times you can use a loop here with using this with items okay with items is calling a variable packages so where is this packages this packages will be in our wars directory in the variables directory okay and for each package this loop will be executed like we are calling this uh, uh, this uh, each uh, each line in this uh, each each variable in this packages and uh, this is actually a dictionary and e for each package it will be um, executed which means the each for each package it will make sure this package is installed using this item we are calling with items and item okay that is uh, to ensure packages are installed similarly we have uh, if uh, I have only one service here, but if you have uh, uh, around 10 services to be started Then we can use this uh, this task like uh, we we will be in uh, same thing We use start. I have a variable de already declared in wars main.yaml which is services underscore start and each services Declared in that variable will be started by this task Okay next here I am uh, updating a static file which is uh, which is in uh, I'm using copy module and uh, this is the source direction where this file is available under files HTTP d.conf and destination is in the HTTP configuration okay and here I am using notify restart so whenever I have changed this uh, this source file and uh, this is updated when when we execute this task so it will be updated in httpd.conf at that time we need to restart httpd right else it will not be take effect so we will notify to handlers here i'm using handlers here i'm notifying and this there is a there is some changes happened in with this tasks and you need to take necessary actions the action is basically restarting uh, httpd okay now there are two more tasks which is uh, one is resolve.conf file I'm using a Jinja template here. Uh, I'm using a module called template for to use Jinja template, and this is my Jinja template. I'll explain you this, which is in templates folder, and this is destination. There is no restart normally required, so there is no notification or there is no uh, handlers will be called here. And the final one, which is update pseudoverse. Okay, here. Here I use a module called. This is a very useful module for me. I use this. Uh, 
every time when I need a pseudo verse, uh, update in pseudo. So this is a blocking file module where you can put a block inside etc pseudo verse. This is the path where uh, we have pseudo file and etc pseudo verse. It will put a block where so in the etc pseudo verse. Okay, and where this block is coming, which is uh, we are specifying where is our block here. I'm using uh, a lookup to the template okay look up to the template this is a, a template is basically a jinja template and where uh, my jinja template is which is under templates pseudo block dot j2 there is a file called pseudo block dot j2 under my templates so that's what that's all uh, our tasks we are going to do and let's check next one which is uh, which is actually wars wars main.yaml okay here is our wars wars so there are two wa variables uh, we are calling inside uh, our task which is, which is one is uh, packages and second one is services underscore start okay these are the packages i al i already explained there is a loop and this these packages will go through the that loop so these two packages and you can Put a number of packages here. I need HTTPD and KSH. And the services I use only. I just uh, put only one service. You can put a number of services here that will be started when executed. Playbook. Okay, that's uh, that's was file. Now let's go to uh, handlers. Before moving to the templates, go to handlers. Okay, there is a. Uh, some swap file let me correct it oh, sorry i did the uh, main dot okay this is our uh, this is our handlers here i use a task to restart httpd so this handlers you know right this handlers will be executed only when there is a change under the respective task has been happened on the client machines so here the, we use the restart httpd this is the notification that we have declared in the tasks and that notification will be called here whenever there is a there is such a not notification it will restart this service the respective service which is httpd here okay now we'll go to the other ones which is uh, basically files files is a static file i don't edit if you want to update uh, uh, a new you have to if you have a new HTTP con file you just need to update here it will be applied on the client nodes okay and here files i'm going to templates templates i have two templates one is result.conf here it's a result.conf here i'm mentioning generated by ansible and uh, this is a name server and uh, here there is one more variable i'm calling and this variable is not in our wars it is actually in the inventory file the reason is if we have uh, 100 servers and uh, each uh, we have 10 servers per each we have a uh, server groups like we have cluster we have 10 clusters in that and each cluster we have different configuration we, we might have different configurations so in that case we we declare that server group uh, the, that cluster as a server group and we declare some variables so that variables is specific to only for that clusters so like that i'm using here this dns is coming from the our inventory i will show you in the inventory file when i'm going there okay and there is one more file here which is uh, pseudo block i will explain that this is just pseudo block and this is just uh, our pseudo file only thing is since this is jinja to template i am using a variable instead of uh, the real names here so for this variable is this variable still in the in our inventory file not in wars we can declare in wars also but i declare uh, inventory so uh, if we don't need to touch inside the playbook more um, instead of that we just update the inventory and make it done okay then let's uh, check our inventory now Inventory. This is our inventory. Okay, the my hosts and under this I have client one. Okay, here I'm declaring variables for my host. See my host wars. These are these are variables only applicable to my hosts. 
those variables we declare in VARS will be applicable to the complete playbook okay okay here I use uh, I declare all these variables which is pseudo user equal to Sunil my name and uh, pseudo group equal to simply learn and uh, my DNS address which is uh, basically Google DNS okay that's all uh, the uh, the playbook and uh, let's execute this playbook and simple hyphen playbook hyphen i we need to specify inventory and main dot yaml okay gathering facts for global variables it's currently ensure packages are installed if it's already installed it won't do anything and if it's not there it will install the respective package here I have, this is the role and this is the task under this role we are executing this task okay okay this is uh, change which means it is uh, updated or I think it's updated it's not installed it's you means uh, updated HTTPD and updated KSH now it's uh, ensure services are started HTTP is already started it's not going to do anything here updating HTTP.conf there is no change here it updates result.conf file and this is changed it changed means it has been updated and uh, here pseudo was filed and this is also changed okay we have completed the execution of playbook now let's quickly check uh, whether it's uh, in the i'm checking the client machine actually to check whether there is any update in pseudo verse pseudo verse yeah we have an ansible block here that's what we declared there and the use the group and the user both has been updated now let's check uh, it is c slash result.com yes this is generated by ansible okay that's all okay okay that's all guys thank you for watching this video please subscribe my youtube channel thank you have a great day bye bye